G'day guys, today we're here at Budaree National Park, which is about an hour's drive south of Wollongong. Uh, we're checking out the Manyanga Wadaga Dugan Trail. Um, uh, yeah, it really <laughs> walks up the uh, Hopefully we get the whole way through it. Uh, Charlie generally tends to walk for about 15 minutes and then I have to carry him. Um, and then after I'm we gonna do... Go, I'm gonna go look at the water and throw rocks in it. We're gonna go throw some rocks in the water. Um, and then hopefully we're going to check out uh, Caves Beach, Hole in the Wall and Scottish Rocks if we have time. And then we're going to head into town somewhere, get some lunch and do a bit of a food review. Um, the purpose of these videos is to show people places that they can take their kids on weekends, get them out of the house um, and you know just get them off of the phones and stuff like that, uh, iPads, games. Uh, uh, we're also going to start doing maybe some camping videos around like New South Wales and the South Coast and some other food review videos. Shit for the dirt and the shit for your mouth. Oh wait. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've uh, got to the start of the track. As you can see here it says Murray's Walking Trail, 5.4 k's. Um, there is a sign that says cliffs, so yeah, maybe keep your kids close. Um, I've already told Charlie to not run in front, stay with me. Um, yeah, we're gonna check it out anyway. If it gets too dangerous, we'll turn back and come back. But yeah, let's see how it goes. You ready? Yeah? <laughs> Alright guys, we've just reached Murray's Beach. Um, the track in was only about 300 metres, um, but we are going to keep going on the Murray's Beach Trail, which is about 4.9 kilometres. Um, it's a nice view behind us. Um, you're going to walk by yourself the whole way? Um, I'm going to go on the sand. Want to go on the sand? We'll go on the sand when we get back. But yeah, on the sign it does say that, you know, Cliff's Edge is ahead, so I've already told Charlie, keep close. Um, and yeah, like I said, if it gets too dangerous, we'll turn around and we'll go back. But yeah, you excited? I'm going to the sand right now. We'll go on the sand when we get back, all right? Where? Okay, we're going to go that way. Hey, where's that way? Yeah, we're going to go that way. Well, what's that way? Uh, Bush Fork. Is there going that way? Yeah, we're going that way. Ah, good night. So it was signposted back there um, that there's cliffs and there's like little like maps that'll show you like where you are and what's coming up and I do believe that it's pretty much straight into cliffs edges so yeah I'm gonna walk right next to Charlie and make sure he doesn't get too far ahead. I'm so tired. tired? I told you he gets tired real quick we're like 10 minutes in and he's already sucking so gonna have to stop for a drink break. I'm thirsty. <laughs> Alright, we'll stop for a drink. Ten minutes into the walk and this is what I get. Only another 4.8 kilometers to go. So he's had a quick drink, all energized again and ready to go. Let's I'm go. Cut, I'm gonna cut you little boy on the front. You're gonna cut me? You're gonna cut my phone? Yeah. You're off your head. You're off your head. I'm not off my head. <laughs> There's these little signs as you walk around and it just gives you a bit of information on the track and ow, you know what's ow, in it ow, and ow, stuff ow, like that. Ow, 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 ow. What have you done? I cut my finger. You cut your finger? Oh well, we'll go to the hospital? No, I'll cut it there. Nah, you'll be right. Um, yeah, there's these signs and they just, um, just give you information on like what's about, what kind of trees there are, what kind of uh, animals and stuff there is. So at the moment, 
we are in a eucalypt and a black butt forest um, as you can see heaps of trees around it's really nice really peaceful um, <clears throat> not so many cliffs yet there was a few hills back there that kind of led to a beach but nothing too cliffy let's keep going Righto guys, so behind us is Bowen Island, um, on the map that the park gave us. Uh, it does say that, you know, boats and stuff aren't allowed within 30 metres of it, and I was trying to work out why, but there's a couple of signs behind me that say that it's home to 500 mating penguins. So, I'm guessing that's why there's not allowed, you know, any boats near it or any people on it. Uh, um, Daddy, I'm going to the island over there. I just said you can't go on the island. I can swim over there. But you want to swim in there? Yeah, and I off your head bro yeah. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah so it is pretty cliffy um, yeah there is a fence around us um, a couple of signposts that say you know cliffs ahead so good job Paulie let's go on a family safe <laughs> a family safe hike to the cliff's edge yeah uh, it's, it's not too bad you know you keep your kids close to you and you know there are fences and stuff no, no, around no, no, no. get off the fence get off your head but yeah, we're going to keep walking, um, we're going to walk back around oh, and keep doing the track, so shit. let's That's go. Not my shoe. So far the track hasn't been too bad, it's like pretty sandy. Um, a few little slopes. Hasn't been too cliffy yet. But, um, but we're still a long time away. <laughs> long time away down this hill. Yeah. Charlie, what do you think of the walk so far? Um, I think we're going to go on the wrong way. You think we're going the wrong way? Yeah. But we're following the signs, bro. No, we're not. There's no signs back here. Apparently we're going the wrong way. Um, yeah. So you like it so far? Yeah. Oh, Charlie likes it so far, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, you're so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the winner. I'm the winner, Daddy. You're a little shit. Keep going. Put your finger down. All right, so I found the first part where it's really cliffy. There's no rails, nothing for kids, but the walking track, I'd say, is probably 20 meters away from the cliff. Um, I'm not gonna fall off the edge, you just stay over there. I've told Charlie to stay right up there, um, away from the edges, but it's a beautiful view. Um, there's a nice little cave in the cliff down there. Um, there's a couple of fishing boats as well around the side of the mountain here. Um, so far Charlie seems to be enjoying it, um, but yeah, just keep your kids on the track and not too close to the edge. So far so good. So Daredevil Child really wanted to see the cliff. Um, I'm not letting him go too close, I am standing right next to him. He wants to throw some rocks off, so. Can you do it with me, Daddy? You want me to throw some rocks? Yeah. Alright, let's throw some rocks off, eh? Ready? Go! If you 
you think there's do you think there's sharks down there? You think there is? Okay, this one. One, two, three, four. You're off your head, man. One, two. Um, All right, you ready to keep walking? I'm doing this one. You're going to throw that big one? Whoa. Ready to keep going? Yeah. Yeah? yeah All right. it. Let's go. So today with lunch, we've uh, been given a bit of a show. Off the cliff there, there's a whale. Isn't there, Charlie? What was the whale doing? Um, he was going up and he went down, come back down, and, and we saw him go like this, and he went over, and now he's down sleeping. Like, now he's here down sleeping. <laughs> he's sleeping now, apparently. But, but he's come back up. I did read somewhere online that the humpbacks and the southern right whales usually migrate up to Queensland this time of year. Um, it did say that you usually see them within the first week of July, but we're like halfway through. So yeah, kind of wasn't expecting to see any, but yeah, we did get one just over there. I'll try and film a little bit of it if it comes back up, but yeah, camera's pretty you're shit. So see how we go. You're, you're not the white on the whale, it's like white. You're gonna ride the whale. Yeah, but, but you're allowed to ride him. Look, you're allowed. You're scared to walk up the steps by yourself. You are definitely not gonna ride a whale. He's gone now. It's the thing you said. You can kind of see him, Charlie, out there. He's gone. No, you can see him. There he is. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, there. Out there, you'll see him come up again. The black spot. Let's see if he comes back up again. Charlie's going to do a bit of a food, food review for you. Um, yeah, we've got the Outdoor Gourmet Company Butter Chicken, which uh, you just boil 500 mils of water, pour it in, rehydrates, and yeah. Does it taste good? <laughs> you don't like it? No, it doesn't taste good. All right, I'll try some. Let's get a bit of chicken on there. I mean, it's not too bad. Like, you can tell it's been rehydrated like it's you know it's good for a hiking meal real lightweight like yeah and real easy to cook just boil some water and add it to it but it's definitely I not see the black whale. you see the whale it's gone now oh i think you're full of shit mm. yeah it's definitely not something i'd eat every day but for hiking and camping and stuff like that and you want an easy meal yeah, I'd definitely recommend it. Like, Who's it's not too bad. To you? Are you really talking to yourself? Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to myself. Alrighty, back on the track and uh, let's keep walking. Careful going down here, mate. Might fall. It's a little bit chippy, but we did um, slowly. Go slowly. Not a bad little spot for a bit of a snack, Charlie. Nice little whale show. In a So we've just reached, don't throw rocks, we've just reached the halfway point and we're heading back to the car. Charlie's getting, ah, 
don't do. Charlie's getting grumpy and tired and he wants me to carry him. But I really don't want to. Don't. Yeah, so we're going to go back to the car. Hang up. We're going back to the car now and I'm not carrying him. 2.3 k's to go. Let's go. So we've got about 2 k's to go. Big fella, starting to show signs of fatigue. <laughs> oh. How you going there, Charlie? You good? Can you go in the puddle? No, you're not go don't go in the puddle. No, don't you go in that puddle. Walk around. Walk around it. Don't get your new shoes dirty. Charlie. Let's go. Don't. You're not Peppa Pig, mate. You don't love muddy puddles. Let's go. I'm not Peppa Pig. Yeah, you look like a little pink piggy. Mm. Yeah, you do. Well, I've got some dirty feet right now. How about you carry me? Daddy, 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 stay still. Carrying you, bro. No, I'm not You're not going on my shoulders. How about you carry me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's go, brother. 2K to go. I ain't carrying him. I ain't giving in. Come on, I'll race ya. I told you I wasn't going to cave and I caved. Still probably about one and a half kilometres to go. Someone's decided that their legs don't work. So it looks like I'm uh, carrying him the whole way back to the car. God damn it. We did it. I love it. We did it. Woohoo! Did I eat, did I eat? I just drink a cup of water, but I didn't drink much. You didn't drink much water? We can have some in the car. I got a tongue stuck in it. <laughs> so after five Ks, we're back at the car. Um, that walk was probably a little bit too long for a four year old. Um, but did you like it, Charlie? You didn't like it? Hot and sweaty. Hot and sweaty, okay. Um, yeah, so next weekend we're going to go camping. Um, and we're going to go to dinner and we're going to play my game when I get back home. Yeah, next weekend camping at maybe Buttery National Park or a website on Hip Camp. Um, we'll probably just go overnight in the rooftop tent um, and just, yeah, try and find what activities we can do. Hey, Charlie? Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. See you guys.